chance. What it do, cuz cuz? It's your cuddy, Slick, and I'm here with another cool video. Yarra. Okay, today we're going to be taking a quick look and cracking open Winged Dream Gym Boxing Equipment. Now this product right here, you get on Amazon.com for $149.99. So you're looking at 150 bucks. Now let's get straight into it. Yes, yes. Now here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Winged Dream Gym Boxing Equipment. Now let's crack it open. All right, all right. Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. A nice simple box, toe up from the flow up. This is how it was brought to me. Uh, <laughs> I had to finish cracking it open because when the delivery guy brought it to me, the, the baseboard was always sticking out. So I had to make sure that all the rest of the equipment was all nice and good. You could tell from the instruction manual. Hey, when I was inside the box, all toe up and shot through. I get what I mean? But overall, it seemed like all the pieces are here. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, five in one. Woo! I am so super excited about this bad boy. Oh yeah. So you can see from right here or from the picture and all you got your you got your kicking bag right there or your bottom hidden bag. You got your uh, two bottom bags that you get hit on. And then you got your head punch right there and your spinner, your bar spinner right there. Oh yeah. So oh yeah, I'm super excited about this. So let me know for ado, let's crack it open, y'all. And check this bad boy out. All right, all right. Okay, so this is a big box, a big box. So let me go ahead and pause the video and uh, zoom this bad boy out. All right, hang tight. All right, y'all, now here it is. I have it on the floor, ready to be cracked open so we can see what we have on the inside. All right, all right. Okay, let me come from behind the camera. All right, let's crack it over and see what we have, y'all. All right, off back. You have your kicking bag. That says Wing Dream. Check that bad boy out. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. That's what, oh. Also, your punching, what is your punching bag? Yep, this is your punching bag right here. Nice. You also got a orange rubber cover mat to put over the baseboard, the metal baseboard. Nice. Put that to the side. Here goes your metal plate right here. Now this dude has a little weight to it. All right, solid, good structure, nice. Also, you got your suction cups and screws to bolt everything down. Now this works on better on hard surface carpet, not so much. It's made to sit on concrete, hard floor, or wood floor. So you get that, so you suck it down to the floor and get your uh, good workout in. Yada. We also have your spin bar or your spar bar, what they like to call it. Nice, good padding, good foam. Oh yeah, super exciting. Name logo right there. Nice. Also, this right here is your. Okay, so this right here is your is your bar stand. Okay, so this is your stand. You connect everything together to hold the bags and everything together. That's inside of that. Nice. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We got everything that we need. No instructions. Just what you have right here. All right, all right. Okay, so with no further ado, let's go ahead and put this bad boy together. Yay! Why so serious? <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so we got two more punching bags. Oh, three. Got a pump, okay. Okay. 
All right, let's see if we can put this bad boy together with no instructions. All right, all right. Okay, real quick, I have something to say. Now, because this boxing bag didn't come with instructions, I gotta do it the black people way by looking at the uh, picture and put everything together. So hopefully I get everything nice and secure and tighten and, and in there like swimwear. So that way when I go to use the uh, bag, the equipment, it don't fall apart, all right? Like Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall. So I'm gonna do this in real time. I gotta look at the picture and see what's going on. So it looks like from the picture, you gotta start off with the with the base first, with the suction cups. So we're gonna pull these out real fast. All right. So you get about like how many suction cups? You get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen suction cups. That's good. Let me just should suck down real good and hold the uh, the base. The, heavy base mount right here pretty well on the ground so i guess you just add it on that way oh okay i see what they so basically what you gotta do ladies and gentlemen don't know if y'all can see it but you take the suction cup you put in the uh in the holes on the outside right here and line up around the rim on the baseboard slide in there like that put it in there like swimwear you can do one at a time try to get them all in there Yeah, you know I mean, I'll do that roll first. Then you take the nuts that's in here. And then you just screw it down. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna screw by hand first, lightly, before tighten it down. I wanna make sure I get everything right, okay? that's the first step y'all put the suction cups on the baseboard Okay, now since we are done putting on the bottom baseboard with the heavy uh, bag, kicking bag at the bottom, now it's time to go ahead and put on the arms. So let's go ahead and crack it open. So here goes the arm bar right here, one of the arm bars. Now it's showing. It's not really showing, but it's <laughs> you just kind of got to figure it out how it goes to the picture. So, okay, so there's a hole right here. Screw this right here on the side. No, wait, I'm lying. Am I lying? Let's see. Let's go in here. 
Okay, that don't go in there. I'll go this way. Okay. Oh, okay. So I had the wrong way to do it. So the skinny part <laughs> goes up. Oh, I can see. Cause we got the screw on top. All right, that's where you put your last, put your bag on. Now I got a, I saw two grooves. I don't know. Oh. Okay. So I thought this, I thought this ball would be adjustable, but it's not. That's kind of weak. Oh shoot. Paint coming off now. Okay. I did put it down too low. It might be, let's see. Oh, it is. Okay. So the bar is adjustable. So this the screw pop right here is a it's got like a flat head at the bottom. So you just screw it to your like an adjustable height, like a microphone stand. And you just screw it down real tight, and there it is. So let's see, it's on there. I can pick it up. It's on there. Okay, messing up the paint, scraping all that. Oh, well, it is what it is. So there we go. We got that part on. Now it's showing next. It is okay. So you get a little screw right here. It comes in the back. This goes up on top. All right. We're going to screw that down on top so we don't lose that bad boy. And the rest should be easy breezy. All right, that's all the way down. All right. Now it's showing for the spinner. Wow, this, 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 <laughs> this is amazing, y'all, how, how you got to put everything together. Okay. All right, y'all, I got all four of my punching bags pumped up nice and tight, thanks to, yay, my 5-in-1 car repair toolkit that you can buy on Amazon.com. Check out my review of this bad boy. Everything electric, electric jack to pump up your car, uh, electric drill bit and electric pump. Oh yeah, it's real gooey. Yes, yes. But overall, there it is on the floor, ready to be hooked up and, uh, and rock out. I was struggling with that pump that they gave me right there. That gold pump, oh, it's true. I cannot get my balls nice and tight. You know what I mean? Maybe I should have popped in the blue, too. <laughs> Yay! But all right, y'all, so here it is. Let's go ahead and hook everything up. And um, yeah, we can play with this bad boy. All right, so now what is showing right now, next, what we're gonna have to do, I'm looking, y'all. Okay, so you take one of these springs. I'm hoping this is the right spring. So you take one of these springs and then we uh, put it on the back. All right, y'all. So let me go ahead and put the spring like a show, I believe, right here. Oh, screws on. Okay. So the spring screws on. Interesting. You don't slide it on. You screw it on. Okay. Make sure it's on it nice and tight. Ah. Interesting. Hopefully that's the right one to screw on there. Let me see. Huh, interesting. The same thing with this one. Yep. Same thing with this one. That goes all the way down. Okay. That's on there, that's on there. Yeah, see this? I don't think, oh no, let me unscrew this. I think I got this one on the wrong way. I'm not sure. They're all different sizes? Yeah, they're all different sizes. I mean, same size. Put the bar on. Ugh. 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 Okay, okay. All right, all right. Get a little, just get a little excited. All right, hold on. So let me go screw this on now. Nice. 
okay that's on there that's on there it's kind of this part is kind of shaky it's like that's weird man oh you know why it's shaky y'all I, I didn't put the nut on there <laughs> all right now it makes sense gotta slow down sometimes you gotta slow down yeah i just happen to look down like why is it not on there like it's supposed to be there. reason why because i didn't bolt, i didn't i didn't bolt this down so let me unscrew this spring so yeah so make sure once you put the black bar on that you put your nut on don't forget about it this is what locks and holds this in play without going back and forth without slipping out all right go ahead tie this bad boy down like so all right there we go now we're talking okay now i got one more net maybe that's a free net i don't know but hopefully this time around <laughs> i got everything right let me go and get the spring screw the spring back on should go on with ease there we go there we go okay there we go now it's on there nice and tight beautiful all right all right now we take our punching bag screw this on all right now one thing i'm definitely digging and liking as you can see how i'm trying to screw it on and get get, get it grips it inside the uh Spring. so that's 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 good good thing right let me get this bottom one right here and the last one is just a free puncher bag so just in case you pop one you have another one okay all right i think that's it so put it on the chin height yep that's it y'all oh that's nice okay 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 all right so with no further ado let me go ahead and stick this bad boy down the surface right here take it down leave the sticks Step on it. Get that good section. Oh yeah. That's on there. So you step down on the on the orange pad so you make sure you get that good section. A little wobbly. Yeah, it's a little wobbly. I mean, well, that was kind of solid. When you step it down, yeah, it's a little wobbly. <sighs> but anywho, it's on there, but wet the floor a little bit, get the suction down nice and good, and then from there, hey, get your own boxing. Oh, this is nice. So the spin bar, spin pretty good. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. <sighs> Too many gadgets. <laughs> Dang. Dang. All right. But anywho, that's how you got it. There it is. So with no further ado, let's go and test this bad boy out. All right, hang tight. All right, y'all. So here it is. Everything all hooked up, ready to rock out. Now, one thing about the suction cup, you got to make sure, see how it just moved right there? You got to make sure you, you, you step on it nice and good. Make sure the floor sucks on the floor very well because if not it will definitely move see let me get it right bam bam 
So right now it's on the top floor. If you try to put this on carpet, it will tip over and fall over. You can see how it's leaning a little bit on the side. There we go. So to get that good grip, you want to kind of step on it. You know what I mean? So as for kicking it, I, I wouldn't recommend it. You know what I mean? It, it would definitely go over the place unless you put some weights or something down on the baseboard to keep it from moving. But, I mean, it's there. It's good to hit it or low blow it. You know what I mean? But everything else is pretty much lightweight solid. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely love the hook back right here. But you got kind of... Yeah, I mean, move around it. Oh, yeah, I like that. Boom, bah. Ah, ah. Yeah, I mean, and then, <laughs> of course, you got the, the uh, spin bar. So, the, uh, it spins pretty well, depending on how you hit it. Whew. Ah. Ah, ah. So, yeah, it, it, it works. Pretty well, y'all. Still a little wobbly. Like I said, you gotta make sure the suction is sucked down pretty well. But overall, a nice good at home, you see, not just move. And make sure it's nice and tight. And I barely touched that and I just moved. So doing power hits on this, on the pleasure bag is not what it made for. It mainly made for, for speed, eye coordination, conditioning, awareness, footwork, timing, agility. Bah. Boom, boom, bah. Now this one kind of high up here. Yeah, you know I man. But other than that, it's pretty. I like. All right, y'all, now in conclusion, what do I think about the Widget Dream Gym Boxing Workout Station? I think it's wonderful. You know what I mean? Especially if you're an athletic person and you like to do boxing or mixed martial arts. Look at that, just got hit in the head. Uh, you definitely gonna like this machine, you know what I mean? Good for your, good for the money, 150, can't go wrong with this bad boy. You get five and one. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, it, to me, I truly do like. Now, what I like and don't like about this bad boy, there's sort of what I don't like. What I don't like, I wish it would be kind of dope if the boxing bag was more fuller. Now I can get creative. I can put star foam right here on the pole. So that way when you hit the spin bar, you can duck and pop, 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 right in front of you instead of going up. You know what I mean? Uh, the hook bag is nice. You know what I mean? The other... Little shot bag right there, boom, or knee kick ah, is, is nice. That's good. It holds pretty well. Um, could structure be structured a little bit better, you know what I mean? But overall, still, it still does the job, give you good, a good workout. Um, what else I don't like is that it needs to come with some real instruction, not the black people instruction where you gotta look at the picture and, play, and place everything together like Lego blocks, you know what I mean? Because when it starts falling apart, if you, if you don't got to bolt it down correctly, then you're going to be kind of upset about, you're going to feel like it's a waste of money, like a cheap waste of money buying this equipment, you know what I mean? Um, but that's pretty much what I don't like. That's one thing I really don't like. That, like I said, it would be dope if this would be a full bag, put the spinner bar somehow way in the middle, so when you hit it, pop, you still got a bag right there in front of you, boom, boom, boom. Run your combination and dodging, moving, and ducking. That would have been dope. That would have been definitely been dope. Now, what I do like about it, man, you get, you get all the stuff in one. You know what I mean? No matter what you do, whether you do mixed martial arts or boxing, 
like I said, I can even take this off and just use the, the spar bar and the top speed bag on, fr on front and then dodge and move at the same time. You know what I mean? If I don't want this on here. Portable, I can break it down, put it in my car, take it where I want to take it to, take it to a park, stick it on the ground and do my full workout. I, I like it, man. Overall, I think that's a plus. And if, like I said, if you're about your workouts and want to stay in shape, this right here, especially like in small apartments or, or condos and homes and stuff like that, you would love this. You know what I mean? Don't take up too much space. It's just right there. You, just because you can't make it to the gym, you have some right here at home that you still work on. Yes, yes. All right, y'all. Now, before I fully dip out, there is one more thing that I discovered that I do not like about the Widget Dream uh, Boxer Session workout, and that's the speed balls itself. When you hitting it and doing your workout, what I have noticed is that they get loose. They start to unscrew. So every once in a while, you got to re-tighten it and screw back down. I wish there's a way it, it locks in, but just be cautious and careful while you're working out and pay attention. And also, this bar right here spins. Like I said, it don't really, I wish it had some little holes in the pole to really secure and keep it from moving, moving around. But I mean, for 150, it is what it is. I'm not, it's still a great workout machine, uh, boxing equipment to get your workout on. But just be aware that the balls will <laughs> uh, get unscrewed. So you got to tighten right back down. And also, this will, this will move. So it don't matter how you hit it, it will just, it'll, It'll constantly move. So just be aware of that. But overall, it's still a great workout, boxing, uh, jiu-jitsu, martial arts, where you want to do on this bag, uh, workout. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, it gets the job done. Definitely love the speed bag. I mean the speed bar. The spar bar. Ah, that's my favorite. You know what I mean? But overall, there it is, y'all. And it's your boy, Cuddy Slick. And I'm out of busy. Yes, yeah.